Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to Mojave KY. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the uh, new subscribers and the existing subscribers. And uh, really, thank you guys all for watching and for all the comments. Uh, that last video really doesn't uh, get this video unless you guys comment and give me your ideas on picking the next mod. All right, so that's what we're here to do today. We are here to pick the next mod or to find out which mod you guys picked. And again, thank you guys a lot for voting. Uh, I learned some interesting things along the way, so I think that uh, maybe we'll share a few of those as we go over what the uh, three choices were. So in no particular order, the three choices were the E85 kit from Lethal Camaro. Second, the cold air intake uh, from General Motors. So that is the uh, one that is uh, California legal. So that is really why it's on the list. And third, not least, uh, the gauges. So the gauges to measure the alcohol content of the E85. So the Aeroforce uh, gauges, the uh, interceptor gauges, uh, and the pod. Obviously you have to have that to uh, get it connected up to the car. All right, so what were the results? Uh, thank, again, thank you guys for voting. I checked uh, all of the things this week. I checked them this morning just to make sure that I had the last count. So uh, I gave it a week. That's enough time, right? A week. Otherwise, you know, people voting later, um, maybe out of sequence or didn't see this video until much later. Uh, you'll be able to go to the video and see what won. But anyway, here's what won. So in third place, Three is a magic number. The gauges. I don't know. Everybody kind of said, um, you really don't need the gauges until you have the E85. Totally agree with that. Um, but they're coming right after it. So uh, one way or another, the gauges will be here relatively soon. Just maybe in a month. All right, so what came second? Should we wash our hands? <laughs> no, no, no. We're number two. Uh, surprisingly, second um, was really close. First and second were close. Uh, two votes separated first and second. So what came in second? The cold air intake. So the cold air intake uh, came in second, just two votes behind. Um, I can understand that vote given that there's a tune that needs to go with the E85 and you got to you know, you could throw that cold air intake on and then the tune takes advantage of it and the EA5. So, totally get why that would come in second. Give me that shovel. I'm it was his hat, Mr. Krabs. He was number one. So, what came in first? The the E85 kit. I really thought that would come in first. It's a performance mod. Um, when I've talked to Lethal about it, he said, you know, it is one of the best bang for the buck. And I, I really can't complain when I get that and the tune uh, to add, I'm hearing like 30 horsepower to the tires. That's big, right? I mean, these cars are pretty well tuned without going into, you know, what some of the other mods make. Um, for what this is going to cost me, and I'm telling you, it's pretty affordable. So I have to talk to Lethal about when I can tell you kind of what and stuff costs, but it's really affordable. So um, much less expensive than I thought it was gonna end up being for the two combined. The kit is about what I thought it would be, but the kit with the tune uh, that Lethal and I are working on is much more affordable than I thought. And at some point I'll get to share that with you guys. <laughs> So what did I learn from you guys? Um, one, that the California E85 is uh, pretty high in alcohol content. So in general, the gauges could kind of slip until uh, the end. Uh, two, uh, that my closest station is actually one of the better stations from some of my folks that actually have E85 already. So that's good news. So the close to home E85, I really don't need the gauge. It's solid E85. I need it for when I'm not close to home. Uh, another thing, uh, Lethal Camaro has the E85 kits now. 
So I just need to arrange with him a time where uh, I can pay him and I can get the uh, thing installed. And then we're also going to do the tune at the same time. So um, looks like we're doing both the E85 and the tune. So almost regardless, this did the vote did go E85, but almost regardless of where the vote was going, the E85 plus the tune being done at the same time or you know right by themselves. Uh, pushes that right to the front. I wouldn't have even asked, I just would have done that had I known that we could kind of do both of those at the same time. So be looking for a video on the E85 uh, install. We'll do an install with Lethal, um, hopefully soon, but Camaro Fest is coming up, so it may be after Camaro Fest until we get this kind of all uh, together. Um, I do have a lot of other things that need to go in the car. Again, just uh, I need some time to do that. And then third thing, right, uh, with the tune, I wanted to get the cold air intake because I wanted the tune with the intake and the E85 and all of that kind of combined. So I probably um, am going to grab that uh, also, so kind of a, just on my own money. So the E85 is going to be mostly taken by the YouTube money, and then I'm going to get the cold air intake, and the tune obviously is also on me. Uh, but those will be kind of, I think I, I kind of think I got to have that cold air intake prior. We'll do the install, do the tune on it, and then that'll take advantage of, you know, what that cold air intake has rather than waiting. So I'm going to jump that ahead. I do have some money in savings. I'll, I'll pay that uh, cold air intake off, buy that. And then when uh, Lethal and I can get together, we'll do the install. And then I'll do some follow-up videos on the E85. I think some of you will be interested to see, as, long, as well as I will, um, what I think in horsepower. So if I can, I was thinking maybe I'll try to get this dyno tuned in advance. Not dyno tuned, dynoed in advance. So I can see what it's making base. Then when you do the tune, I can get dynoed again and see what kind of uh, increase that we saw. So I think that'll be kind of important to uh, do prior so I'll try and make a case of doing that uh, as soon as I can all right so guys thank you so much for watching thanks for coming back to Mojave KY really appreciate it I know the uh, all those mods that you kind of picked from it looks like uh, we're just gonna probably end up just doing all of those mods I knew we all knew I'd get to those mods at some point I think the gauges will end up being third well the gauges are gonna end up being third the cold air intake the E85 kit and tune are going to kind of come all at the same time. Uh, the, the actual cold air intake actually might come before that, but they're all going to kind of have to come together. So, uh, that's, so that's good news uh, for the channel, good news for the car, and, uh, and I'm excited to see what differences that makes. All right, so until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the likes and subscribes. Really appreciate it. Again, small channel, and we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. And while you're waiting for the next Mojave KY video, go check out some other guys and keep modding.